Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to do the second velocity transformation equation. We're going to find V instead of V prime. In the previous video, we found V prime, which is the velocity as seen of the observer on the moving reference frame in relation to the velocity as seen by the observer on the stationary reference frame. So now we want to switch that around. We now want to find V instead of V prime. So starting with the same equation, it now simply becomes an algebraic exercise trying to solve this equation for V, and this is how we do that. We first move this quantity over to the left side, so this becomes V prime times 1 minus V u over C squared is equal to V minus u. Now we get rid of the parentheses by multiplying this through, so now we get V prime minus V prime V times u over C squared is equal to V minus u. So now we want to move all the terms that have V over to one side of the equation and everything else to the other side of the equation. So we're going to now move this to the left side of the equation, so we get V, that would become a minus V, minus V prime V U over C squared is equal to minus U minus V prime. And actually, we like to put the V prime first, so let me rearrange that. So let me write this as minus V prime minus U. So when you move the V prime to the right side, it becomes minus V prime. Since we have negatives everywhere, we're just simply going to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1 to make it all into positives. So moving up here, we end up with V plus V prime V times U over C squared is equal to V prime plus U. All right, getting a little closer now. Now we want to factor out a V on the left side of the equation. So we have V times the quantity 1 plus, that would become V prime U over C squared is equal to V prime plus U. And finally, if we divide both sides by what's inside the brackets, we end up with V is equal to V prime plus U divided by the square root. Oh, not the square root. I got carried away in that one. We don't need the square root. It's simply that quantity, which is 1 plus V prime U over C squared. And this will now become the second of the three velocity equations that we obtain by doing the Lorentz transformation. Now, let's go ahead and write that in here. So now we have V is equal to and V prime. Let's plus. go ahead and do that. And all right. I was turned off by the sign there for a moment, but now we have it. So there's our second velocity transformation equation. So now we're able to go back and forth. If we're given V, we can calculate V prime. If we're given V prime, we can calculate V. Remember, V by definition is the velocity of the vent as seen by the observer in the stationary reference frame, and V prime is the velocity of the vent as seen by the observer in the moving reference frame. And that's how we do that.